Well, howdy. I've written a new song and it's called Imaginary and it's all about maths and the history of maths and uh, how it relates to us as creative people and it's also a love song. There you go. But the groove behind it's kind of full. Cool. Full? Cool. It's full and it's cool. Um, it's a 12 uh, with basically three pulses, uh, as in four in the pulse, and it goes, um, baffled to put a baboon to poverty. So baffled to put a baboon to poverty. But it can also have uh, four pulses. Which is great because the snares line up with one of the pulses depending on which one you're doing. It's kind of cool. The two snares. Anyway, you get the idea. So, or, yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. Now, keep that in mind. And now we're going to do eight against three. So to do that, I'm going to say back to back to back to back to back. Now, the word back is two sounds within a one-syllable word. Back, 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 which is kind of fun because then back to back to back makes threes. Back to back to back, yeah? So if you blur it and get rid of the K, you just get back to back to back to back to back. You get an even two. Check it out. Back to 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 back. So you get an even eight against three. Kind of fun. Um, this is a little technique of doing polyrhythms with your fakes that I've been playing with. Now, keep that in mind, and now we'll go to the groove of the actual song, which the sentence that, that I've come up with is take the bike back to Beck. Do you take the bike back to Beck? Which is two, one, two, two, one, two, one, one, two. Yeah. Take the buck back to Beck. Do you take the buck back to Beck? Now, if you're doing that over three, if you blur that, you get five over two and then three over one which is essentially eight over three, but it's not. It's a janky version of it. But the difference between, you know, five over two, eight over three, you know, uh, three over one, which is 0. 0.4 and then 0. 0.3333, three. they're close enough. So you can, you know, your brain will just blur them together. So let's put that with the groove. Here we go. Yeah, so the guitar part goes, you know, take the bike to back to back. Do you take the bike back to back? Do you take the bike? They're not the lyrics, just the rhythm, yeah. And then blow that. So that's not eight against three. Eight against three would be three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like that, yeah. Back to 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 back. You get the idea. Cool. So now that's uh, one part of the song, which is kind of fun. It's kind of a blurred poly poly rhythm, but not really. It's it's a bit of a its own blurry thing. But then if we go. Huh, Take the bike rack back to Mick. Take the bike rack back to Mick. Yeah? With that rhythm. Here we go. Take the bike rack back to Mick. Take the bike rack back to Mick. And then blow that. Take the bike rack back to Mick. 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 You get seven over three. And it's quite lovely, isn't it? Aww. There you go. So that's that, that's the groove of the song. Um, there's a few things you can play with uh, using words like take, take, you know, and things like that to uh, let you do let yourself do interesting polyrhythm things with your face. Anyway, I might uh, leave you with the groove and uh, good luck out there. <laughs> Do 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 do